What is going on, guys? Pro Player Apathy bringing you a new video and a video I do every single year how to improve your aim and gun skill on MW. And I feel like I deliver really good tips. I'm going to go really in depth with this and show you guys some really good things and helpful things. And it's going to help you become a way better player. Trust me. So I grinded the alpha and the beta. And to top it off, I already have a lot of hours put in on release of Modern Warfare. And I just learned a lot while my time playing it. I figured out a lot of new things and I just want to share it with you guys so you guys can become better players. So we're going to break down this video into two parts. The first thing we're going to talk about is how to improve your aim. And this is the number one thing I love to talk about. And I feel like it's the number one thing you should look at the most because it is the most important thing, which is your sensitivity. Now, in this game, they added a whole bunch of new things, a whole bunch of new elements like the, uh, the aim response curve type. And we're going to go a little bit in depth into all of this. But let's start off first with the stick sensitivity. I think 5.5 five is perfect. I think 5.5 five is majority what most people should be using. I feel like no matter if you're an AR or sub, I feel like between 4 to 6 is what you should be playing on. You should be playing anything lower than, slower than that because that's just too slow. It's hard to react to certain things. And there's no need to play anything higher than 6. Like if you're comfortable, maybe you could try 7, but do not pass 7, bro. You're just pushing it. This is a boots game. You do get punished for being a little bit too crazy, a little bit too fast. So you don't want to be in such high sense and start just moving around and think you're like you're absolutely twisted and like you're going to like world star people like this is you get punished a lot more in this game. So you don't want to be that fast. So I think 5.5 five is perfect. Now, they also added something they had in BO4, which is the ADS sense. And I think this is honestly pretty awesome. And in the near near future, maybe in the future, you can see people experimenting more with this. Um, So the next thing is the aim response curve type. I do play on dynamic um it obviously gives you a little bit of explanation there on the side which is not really in depth and kind of doesn't really it's kind of hard to understand like even when i read it i'm like i don't really understand it too much what they're trying to say so in the in the description below i'm going to make sure to leave a link i'll talk about more about linear and dynamic that i found on some on reddit and on twitter people talking about it going a little bit more in depth so if you're actually curious to what kind of they mean and stuff like that you guys can get a better explanation a better understanding because it's even difficult for me to like kind of explain it but from what i heard from what i understood and from what i've been using and i have tried linear and i have tried dynamic and i have tried standard i think dynamic is the best one and then for aim assist i play standard now you can also play precision focusing whatever i've tried them all i feel like they're, they're the aim assist pull is just too strong like you when you're when you're going to people like it's too strong you're like stick like start sticking on them and it's hard to like snap and like move out from them or chase them if you have to like chase them because they're sprinting it's just it doesn't feel comfortable at all it doesn't feel natural at all to me so i just play on standard aim assist i don't mess with these two all right guys the second thing when it comes to improving your aim it's all about centering and just like anticipating your opponent so if you don't know what centering is it's basically just always centering on the area you're gonna push or the place you're gonna be so like as i'm exiting this door i'm centering just ready for somebody anticipating somebody you know what i mean like you're constantly centering at the area you think somebody's gonna push and then you think someone's gonna be up you look up a little bit then you go back down and you're just constantly centering on areas where you think somebody's going to be at. And the whole point of that is that you're never caught off guard. So you know what I mean? Like, let's say instead of slowly centering to here, let's say you're just kind of running like this. And then you go here and then you move to the left. And said that one second difference of now having to get your aim in. Oh, get turned on, kid. Now that one second, you have to now snap on the guy. You are already you are already ready for the guy. You know what I mean? So centering is a very big thing in in FPS in general and shooters in general and just in Call of Duty. You know you want to be able to center on people and be uh, just get ready for action, like just ready at all times. And you know it, it also obviously matters, like if you're going up or down, you know a staircase, uh, a building, like whatever the case is. Like let's say let's say I'm gonna go up these stairs, right? Let's say I'm in the mid map right now. I'm centering here. Don't see anyone centering here, centering here. Gonna go and now I start centering up. Then I go back to the middle and you're just always in the center of the screen and like kind of anticipating your opponent. And that's such a huge factor when it comes to like not not only like when your guns, your gun, your gunfights and like getting those kills, but it's also huge to just be getting ready to snap on someone because you're already centered, like you're already close to their body or on their body. So as you're centering here, let's say a guy just comes in my crosshair right now, just aim in and just make sure I hit my shots, you know? And that's what it's about. So once you get centering down, I think the next big thing is just start up a free-for-all, 
Uh, I really recommend a free fall because you can play against bots and really get the hang of just snapping on multiple targets, especially when they, they're not the best at shooting back. You know, you can make them a little bit easier to shoot at. Uh, you can make them basically uh, recruit bots or whatever, whatever's the easiest difficulty. And you can basically run around the map and just practice on snapping on multiple targets on multiple people at the same time. Just run around. Now, this... If especially if you don't maybe don't have the best aim, you can repeat this process many, many times and you can do this very often and just run around the map, keep shooting around, uh, just keep stacking on snapping on people, try to pop like multiple kills, like try to get like two, three kills at the same time. And, you know, at first you maybe you're going to struggle, you know, you're not going to be able to snap on maybe one guy right away. You're going to be a little bit slow, uh, but the more you do it, the more your aim is just going to improve. And the more you're going to start snapping on people and be like, damn, like my shot, my aim, my shot's getting a lot better. And like all they really took was just practicing it. And that's why bots is usually the easiest. Uh, you definitely could still do it in like pubs and like public matches. But the thing is, like at times you're going to get frustrated. At times you're going to play really good players. At times, you know, especially maybe if you're, if you're not the best right now and you really have a lot of work to do. Like you're just going to be dying a lot. You're not really going to have a chance to shoot at people as much as you should be. But this is more of an effective way of practicing your, your aim and your shot. Now, this goes without saying, and it's a it's a common sense tip, but the more time you put in and the more work you put in, like, on the game and, pl like, play time and, like, really trying to, you know, improve, uh, your shot's going to get better, just like in anything else. The, I, like, every time I start grinding, a, like, any time I start grinding a game and putting in a lot of time, my shot gets really good, and I'm just always snapping, I'm always ready for my opponent, and I'm just on point. And I feel like that's going to happen the same with you if you actually put time and you know really care to, to get better and just do better, you know? All right, guys. So that's it on how to improve your aim. Practice makes perfect. Remember that. Now we're going to go to the next thing on how to improve your gun skill. Now, in Modern Warfare, the movement is a little bit different. There's a little bit different things that you can do in this game that you couldn't do in Black Ops 4. So we're going to talk about one of the best things to do in this game right now. And I feel like it's very, very effective to do. It's the jump shot, but it's not only about jump shotting. Like, yeah, a regular jump shot can be really good and can still be pretty strong. You know, just jump shotting in the middle of a gunfight, just challenging normal. But in this game, jump shotting is actually very good no matter what gun you have. And what what's really even better than the, the basic jump shot is the the double sprint jump shot around a corner and then challenging somebody so basically show you guys how it looks is i have my double sprint ready i'm gonna jump jump around the corner and challenge and he was supposed to kill me but you know he had a shotgun <laughs> but what makes it so effective is just it, it's hard to follow it up because you're it's you're not just jumping around a corner or slowly peeking around a corner the guy's like like i said maybe the guy's centering on you and ready you know he's ready to kill you but instead, you're actually jumping very far and catch, sort of catching your, your opponent off guard and able to kind of catch them off guard and, and kill them. The more you practice it, it just becomes second nature and you just do it almost every time, especially when you're about to like exit a door. You, and like, let's say, you know, let's say I knew someone was right there and I, and I have the and I have the double jump, like something like this, or you, you get ready to run out the door, do, you do something like this, you just challenge them. And it's definitely a lot better, and especially in this game, than doing this. Or even doing this, like a small jump. Like the best way to approach that gunfight is doing the it's doing the double jump. Basically like that. So basically you have the small jump shot, which it can still be pretty good. And then you have the double sprint jump shot, which it's very good. And it's the advanced jump shot. So next we're gonna talk about drop shot. Now Black Ops 4 drop shot was basically removed from the game. I mean you were able to do it, but it was it was never good to do it in a gunfight. You were just drop shot too slow. It was just a terrible idea. But in this game, you can actually drop shot and you can drop shot pretty well. And I feel like people don't do it enough and people are going to start doing it more. But I, I started drop shot a little bit more. And I feel like the more I play the game, the more I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start drop shotting. But drop shotting was obviously like just back in old CODs. It's very good, very strong. You know, you're, you're able to drop your whole body very quickly. And it's hard for your opponent to react sometimes to really kill you because your body's on the floor now rather than uh, being up top. And now they got to aim low. And I think in this game, drop shotting, I mean, most CODs, but drop shotting is really good hip firing, especially if you're going to drop shot, uh, unless unless you're drop shotting from range, because I don't know why, but you want you just wanted to drop shot, then yeah, you got to aim in. But most of the time, you want to just drop and just hip fire. You, you can sort of shoot as you're dropping. So to give you an example, like I'm shooting as I'm dropping. So I think that's the best way. But yeah, drop shotting is really good. It's definitely back in this game. And it can be, you know, it can be kind of cheesy, but hey, we're trying to use everything to make us the best player we can be. And if it's allowed, then 
who cares if it's cheese you got to do what you got to do and the crazy thing about this game is there's sort of like an advanced drop shot it's sort of like a slide movement uh that you can use oh smoked uh basically it's slide to prone it's not i feel like it was a little bit better in the beta i feel like they sort of nerfed it uh nerfed the animation because you're sort of able to go prone right away so they definitely nerfed it a bit but you can still kind of do it like let's say you're about to go around a corner uh okay i made it do it perfectly there but you're gonna slide and then prone right away and that's like a little advanced slide to prone movement and like i said it was definitely better in the beta but you see i sort of did it right there and it's still it's still efficient i don't i don't really know i'm gonna keep testing this out and see if it's it's good like if it's worth doing all the time or worth doing it sometimes but you could do it like let's say you could even do a double sprint double sprint to a slide and then prone and if this is really good i feel like going around corners that's like the main time you should be using it just because you have cover as you're sprinting you're, you're gonna slide this guy's trying to kill me hold up you're gonna slide and then prone i was supposed to kill that guy but hey i ran out of ammo you you would have got the idea if i i would have killed him and for the last thing and this is another common sense sort of tip but i feel like people don't really do it sometimes and it just has to be said which is keep your gunny up bro keep your gun up don't don't be one of those guys always sprinting around and think you're gonna get away like this is some some jetpack cod or some black ops 4 and you're just gonna run around and you know off gun just like kill everybody like especially very good talented players like you're gonna get punished almost every single time like this this game is also about like i said earlier about anticipating your opponent about like pre-aim more just keep your gun up pre-aim more you know this is definitely a slower call of duty this is definitely a call of duty where ttk is fast and you can get punished very quickly if you try to sprint around a corner i'm simply pre-aiming you and there's a good chance unless you hit some crazy movement or hit some crazy god shots that i will kill you majority of the time so like i said it's kind of common sense but like you think someone's going to come here just pre-aim keep your gun up try not to get caught lacking and that's i feel like it's a big thing uh you know when it comes to gun skill because like people just get caught lacking they can't caught off guard and sometimes you know it's gonna happen like you're moving around the map you're trying to get to places faster but sometimes it is your fault like you should be having your gun up like just get ready man preem a little bit more this is not black ops 4 you sh or world war 2 because world war 2 you could camera people too and you know sometimes it sucks pre-aiming so you know you definitely want to have your, your gun up a little bit more preem in this game is actually really good and you know it's it's probably bet it's it's definitely better than it's been in the past CODs. So if you try to compare like Black Ops War War II, yeah, pre-aiming is definitely more important in this game. So keep your gunny up. All right, guys, that concludes my video. I feel like these tips are really gonna help you guys. It might help some of you a lot. It might help some of you a little bit, but as long as it helps, man, it helps. And I'm pretty sure you guys learned something or maybe something you can put into use and you know help you become a better player. I hope you guys liked it. I'll make sure to drop a like. I'm really planning to do more tip videos and more just you know setup videos and things like that because i just want to share my knowledge i want to give you guys some tips and help you guys become better players especially people who are struggling out there and you know i really appreciate all of you guys i hope you enjoyed it like i said and i hope you all have a great day this has been your boy apathy and i'm out peace baby